It's me, Uncle John John. And it's time for me to tell you another story. But this time, I'm going to tell you more stories about Georgiana, the doll that was the first doll to be an astronaut. An astronaut doll. That's so cool. And this week, I'm going to share another adventure about Georgiana. And the story begins with this picture. Ah, actually, this is a this is a listening type of bedtime story. But you know what? I've been showing the pictures all this time. Did you know that? I have a YouTube channel where you can go and you can see me tell the stories using these pictures. Yeah, I can. But you don't have to do that right now. If you're listening to this story, that's okay. You can listen to the story. I will, I'll tell you about the pictures. But if you're watching the video, you can see the pictures with me. And I'm going to start my story about Georgiana. And she is in bed. And she's in bed because, oh, oh, remember, she, she was in space last time. She was in space because she was tied to a kite because her human person friend tied her to a kite and flew her way up above the clouds. And you know it's above the clouds? Space. And you know it's in space? The moon and stars. Stars are in space and the cold inky blackness of the universe that just goes on and on and on and on and it doesn't ever stop. Just the empty blackness. But it's also got stars. They're really shiny. And it's got the moon. And that's also shiny too. And you know, Georgiana, when she was in space, she made friends with the moon. And then she came back down through the clouds and down past the birds. And then she got she landed in a tree. So, Georgiana. Georgiana is in a tree. And while she was in the tree, she made, she made bird friends. She made bird friends. But eventually, eventually, she climbed down from the tree. And then, uh, and then she went home with her human person friend and all the other dolls. Yeah. And then at night, she went to bed. And then, in the middle of the night... One of her doll friends woke her up and said, Hey, tell us again about space. Tell us again about the moon. What kind, what kind of a person, what kind of a person is, is, uh, is the moon? What kind of a person is the moon? And, and Georgiana says, Well, the, the moon is like a dude. And then, uh, and then, uh, Georgiana's, uh, friend said, oh, hey, we're bored. We want to go on an adventure. Now, now, uh, normal human persons when they wake up in the middle of the night, they should not be going on an adventure. That's not a good idea. What they should be doing is they should be closing their eyes, closing their eyes, and then taping, taking, taking deep, not taping, but taking deep breaths, deep breaths, kind of in through the nose, and holding it, holding it, holding it, and then, and then breathing out. 
and then, and then breathing in again, breathing in again. And hold, hold their breath, hold their breath, and then let it go. And then feeling very relaxed, and very relaxed. And I'm not going to do that anymore because uh, Uncle John John might fall asleep, and that would be a very boring bedtime story. Just, just watching uh, Uncle John John just sleeping. That would not be cool. That would not be cool at all. That's not. That's not good. So I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do is tell you that you know normal uh, human persons should not go on adventures late at night because they can't sleep. But you know what? Dolls do it. And maybe that's not good. Maybe that's maybe that's not bad. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a doll. Okay, even though I might look like one, a really really hairy doll with glasses. Okay, but actually I'm not gonna lie. I think going on a on a midnight adventure is kind of exciting. So let's let's see what Georgiana and her friend does. And oh no, it looks like she's got lots of help from all of the, the dollies in the little girl's room. They're all while the little girl is asleep. You know, her human person friend is asleep. All the dolls climb down from from the bookshelves and the cabinets and the beds, and they all go over to the window, and they open the window, and they help each other climb up, and they also uh, help each other uh, climb down. And, you know, the thing is, they, they don't have ladders, and they don't have stairs. So they're climbing out the window, bedroom window. And, and this is not very high up, so don't worry. It's not very high up. It's just kind of like on the ground floor. So for a normal human person, it's maybe not so far, but for a little tiny itty bitty doll, it's it's kind of a kind of a long way down. But since they're dolls and they don't actually have any, you know, uh, sensitive organs or soft tissue or a skeleton that might break uh, if they fall, they don't they don't have to worry about that. So they could just they could just like let themselves fall down from the window and then uh, land very softly on the ground, and then they can begin begin uh, 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 their adventure outside. And so while they're walking around the yard, okay, they're all of them are just kind of wandering around. And they're all wearing like their pajamas, right? Because because they're supposed to be sleeping, they're supposed to be sleeping, but they're kind of kind of wandering around uh, in the in their the backyard uh, in the middle of the night. In their pajamas, but that's okay. So they're wandering around, and they discover a tiny little house, tiny itty bitty teeny tiny little house. And you know, it turns out it's the dog house. That's right, it's the dog house. And in this family, uh, the dog sleeps outside, and maybe sometimes the dog is inside, and maybe the dog is outside. But he has a house, so if the dog wants to sleep outside, he can. He has a, a place uh, where he could just kind of hang out if he wants to. You know, uh, so it's like a good idea to have a dog house in the yard. Yeah. And and the dolls are like, what is this? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so bonkers. There's a little tiny little house in here. We, we just escaped from a big house. And now in this in this giant forest, but it's not a giant forest. It's just somebody's backyard. But if you're a tiny little doll, it, it looks like a giant forest. I mean, just close your eyes and imagine. Close your eyes and imagine. Oh, you're a, you're a tiny little doll. You're uh, one foot tall. If you're one foot tall, everything is big. Oh no, oh, yeah. And then you you look across the yard, but it looks like a huge field because you're one foot tall. And then you see a doghouse, but you don't know it's a doghouse. You've never seen a doghouse before. I mean, come on, don't be crazy. You're a doll. You don't have any brains. So you see this house and you go, what? There's another house here? But it's a doll-sized house, kind of, sort of. But it's outside, so I wonder what's inside. And that's what all the dolls do. They all go up to this house and they're like, whoa, dude, what's inside this house? And they all take turns to go inside because there's kind of a hole where they can go through. And that's exactly what they do. One by one, they go inside, go inside the house. Just go and go explore it. And do you know what the inside of a doghouse looks like? Do you know? Well, it's got a bed because dogs sleep on beds, don't you know? 
and it's got a kitchen. It's got a little kitchen, but a dog-sized kitchen where the dog can, you know, cook some food. And it's got a desk, a tiny little desk, you know, uh, a dog-sized desk where the dogs can do their homework and maybe, you know, read their books when it's time for them to study or just, you know, maybe they're reading a book like A Lord of the Rings or A Game of Thrones, okay? Or maybe they're reading some uh, public domain uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald, yeah? Yeah, 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 maybe. But there's no chairs because dogs can't sit in chairs. They don't. They just sit. They just sit on the ground. Uh, it's their style. But that's what the dolls do. They go inside and they check out the inside of of this doghouse. And is there a dog inside? Well, we don't know, and maybe you don't know either, because maybe maybe you're getting really sleepy. You're getting really sleepy. Your your eyes start to feel really slow slow and you, and you want to close those eyes yeah that's right i don't know what a slow eye is but just just work with me here and just know that your eyes are starting to get close and then you are wanting to sleep you want to sleep and maybe you are falling asleep maybe your brothers and sisters are falling asleep yeah maybe maybe but but you know if you're not asleep but you're really relaxed and you're feeling, you're feeling really warm and toasty in your bed. And you're wondering, ah, what do the dolls, what does Georgiana find inside the doghouse? Uh, well, let's find out together. Well, they find a very happy, very friendly dog and also an adventurous dog. Oh my, oh my, wow. Oh my, wow. That is uh, what a friendly but also adventurous dog that says, hey. You guys want to go on an adventure too? I want to go on an adventure, but but be safe, okay? So I don't want you to get lost. I want you to to uh, don't get lost with me, so you can find your way back home. Grab onto my tail, and that's what they do. All the dolls. So what they do is they they form a line. And, and Georgiana grabs onto the dog's tail, and then uh, one of her doll friends grabs on behind Georgiana, and then another doll grabs behind that doll, and then they, they make a line. They make a line of friends, and the dog starts walking through the yard and walking through the neighborhood, and, and the dolls follow along. The dogs follow, and where do they go? Where do they go? Well, well, they go to a bridge. They go to a bridge where they meet some other dogs, friends, friends of the dog that they are following. They're, they're very cheerful dog. They're very nice dog. They're very nice dogs. So these, so this dog that they follow, they're holding on to its tail. And then the other dogs that are their friends, and they're like, hey, they're, they meet on this bridge. And then they go, yeah, hey, come with us. We're, go we're going on an adventure. And the other dogs go, oh, that sounds really exciting. We want to go too. So let's go over this bridge and go over to the other side of this very small, 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 small creek. The small creek and they walk over this bridge but but something happens and Georgiana oh she trips and she and she falls over the side of the bridge into the creek not very far don't worry don't worry she doesn't fall very far but she falls into the creek and I bet she gets wet um, and by the way don't don't worry about Georgiana I mean she got wet but she didn't drown the creek is, is a creek. It's not deep at all. It's not. She could stand up very easy. But because she's a doll and she's wet, she can't stand up. She's just going to get more and more wet. And what happens after this? What What is the next part of the story? Well, you know what? I don't know. Because that is the end of tonight's story. Georgiana fell off a little tiny little bridge, not too far, don't worry. And she fell in the creek and she got wet, oh no, oh no. And so what What are they going to do? Are the dogs going to jump in the creek? I bet they do, because <laughs> dogs they like to get wet, they like to play in the water. 
uh, and do they do they uh, uh, help Georgiana climb out? Do the other dolls climb in, or do, or do they stay safely on the bridge so they don't get wet? I don't know. I don't know. If you want to know more about what happens in this story, but you want to know the real story, you should read the stories of Raggedy Ann. Because Georgiana is a doll. But so is Raggedy Ann. Raggedy Ann is a doll. But she's a real doll. And there's a real story about Raggedy Ann in a book called Raggedy Ann Stories. So if you want to know what happens to all the dolls out there, I recommend you have your mom or your dad or your big brother or your big sister read one of these stories to you. And that is going to be the end of this week's Uncle John John story. And remember, if you want to see the pictures, there's a YouTube video. But it's okay. You don't have to. It's okay for you to read. And do you know why I say it's okay? Because you don't know I'm saying this because you're already asleep and having dreams about dolls going on adventures with very friendly dogs, very happy dogs, and dreams about inside a doghouse. That must be pretty cool. And that is when I say to you, good night, good night.